Hello there, this is Chris Collins and I'm going to show you how to apply effects to only part of a track. Let's say you've just recorded the lead vocals for your band's latest hit song and you want to accentuate one or more of the words in your vocal track using some kind of effect. Well, this tutorial is going to show you how to do that. For this demonstration, I will be using the demo song Rapunzel, which comes with Mixcraft 6. You can find a shortcut to it in the Start Menu folder for Mixcraft 6. I have singled out a spot in the vocals at measure 39 involving the words forgiveness and your touch. I would like the words and your touch to have an effect on them, in this case, a reverb. Here's the spot. Let's hear it. Forgiveness and your touch. So I want the effect on just the words and your touch. There are three different ways that I can achieve my goal. The first way I will show you is to use effect automation. To keep things as clear as possible, first I'm going to make all the other tracks disappear. Boom. Want to know how I did that? It's called video editing. Anyway, now we have just the vocal track to work with. Let's bring up the effect list by clicking the effects button for the track. You can see that the track already has a few effects, including a compressor and reverb. We're going to add another reverb, in this case, the Acoustica Pro Studio reverb. I'm going to set it to large hall and set the mix a little bit more wet. Forgiveness and touch. That's a very nice cavernous effect, which is kind of what I'm going for. The only problem is, is that it's affecting the entire track, and we only want it on a few of the words. So I'm going to click the automation button and then for the automation source we're going to set it to Acoustica Pro Studio Reverb Mix. The mix level you saw me adjusting in the reverb when I had its window open. At zero the mix would be completely dry. In other words only the original audio signal will be audible. The mix controls the balance between the original signal and the reverb. Scrolling back to the beginning of the track, we can set the initial mix level. And we will set it to completely dry. Forgiveness. Good, there's no reverb on the track at the moment. Now we are going to add points at the appropriate place here in this vocal track. And your touch. We're going to set the mix to fully wet for the words and your touch. Let's hear what that sounds like. Yes, and touch. You can hear the reverb only on the words and your touch. If I open up the reverb GUI, you can actually see that the automation is causing the knobs to move. Yes, and touch. Oh. Which is very cool. Now, there's one problem with this approach. The reverb is actually being calculated for the entire audio track. We can hear what's bouncing around in the reverb engine prior to the mix level being changed. And when we set the mix back to completely dry, which is zero, we lose the reverb tail as well. I will move these automation points even closer to the end of the word so you can hear exactly what I'm talking about. And let's listen. Yes, and touch. So this particular method of adding effects to only part of a track will work better with some tracks and effects than others. Another way you can do this is to use a send track. Let's clear the automation from our previous experiment. Go to track, click add send track, and now we click on the effects button and we're going to add the Acoustica Pro Studio Reverb. Select our large hall, and now we want to set the mix to fully wet. When using send channels, you really want only the effect to come through. This is because the dry part of the signal will be provided by the audio track. To allow the audio track to interface with the send track, we need to open the automation view, which is already open from our previous experiment. 
click the green arrow and select send one, which is the name of our send track. Now we set the desired send amount. We'll set it to 100, which will send 100% of the sound to the send track. And now we must adjust our automation so that we do not send anything throughout most of the track. We'll scroll to the beginning and set the initial value to zero as we did before. Now we add the points for the words and your touch. We will set it to one the automation value acts as a multiplier. So if we set this to one, this will send one times 100% of the audio to the send track. Let's listen to how this sounds. Yes, and you touch. Oh. You'll notice that we only hear reverb for the words and your touch and we do not hear the ending of the reverb tail clipped off either. That is because only the audio for those words is being sent using this method, unlike the first method I showed you where all the audio was being processed by the reverb effect. You can hear even if I bring this in tight that we don't lose any of the reverb tail. As I mentioned, the automation values act as a multiplier, so you can adjust the overall level of the reverb effect simply by changing the send knob. If you need to do something more complicated, for example, let's say not only did you want the reverb on the words and your touch, but you also wanted none of the effects from the original track. To do this, we will use a second audio track for the vocals. This track will only contain the words and your touch, which we will need to split out from the rest of the audio. This is done by positioning the cursor, right-clicking on the clip and selecting split. Of course, Control T also does the job, if you're one of those keyboard guys. Now that I've clipped and sliced and split, I can drag this clip to the new track. <laughs> Whoa! It's so easy to move it left and right when I only want to move it down, especially with Snap Off. Uh, let's change this to Snap to Measure. Oh wait, no, now it's snapping to the measure. All right, well this is easy to deal with. The solution is you simply hold down shift while dragging and it will only move up and down, not left or right. Very handy tip to know. And now we have the words and your touch. Yes, and your touch. On their own track. If we go into the effects, we have a clean slate. We're going to add just the acoustic approach studio reverb with our favorite settings, wet. Yes. And let's hear. Yes, and a touch. Oh. So that works pretty well as well. So try these techniques out for yourself and you'll be slicing and dicing like a pro in no time.